Hello, my name is Steve Rawls, and I am so excited to welcome you to Young Life Chesapeake's 2020 Virtual Gala. Uh, I have the privilege of serving as the area director in Chesapeake, and I've had that role for the past five years. And you have no need for me to tell you tonight about the weirdness of this past year. But what I do wanna do tonight is share with you stories of some heroes of mine and how the Lord has been moving through Young Life Chesapeake not only over the past seven months, but over the past 19 years that we've been in existence. Young Life has been in Chesapeake for the past 19 years. We are a ministry that is committed to telling every student in Chesapeake, every high school student, every middle school student, every teen mom, every kid with disabilities, regardless of what neighborhood you grew up in or what school that you go to, that you are created by a God who loves you, who cares for you, has a plan for your life and invites you into relationship with Him. For the past 19 years, we have a legacy of doing this ministry in Chesapeake with great excellence. We've been coming alongside kids, maybe many of you who are watching tonight, who had a Young Life leader in Chesapeake who came and walked into your life and began to build a relationship with you, who laughed with you, who learned your name, and who began to tell you the great news of a God who loves you and cares deeply about you. For the past 19 years, what started uh, with one man at Great Bridge High School has grown into a ministry that can impact as many as 800 kids a week. A ministry that it takes place in every high school in this city, in almost every middle school in this city, to teen moms, to kids with disabilities, to kids from diverse socioeconomic backgrounds, and more. We're a ministry that cares deeply for every single kid in this city. Young Life in Chesapeake is a ministry that prides itself on being present in the lives of kids. As you know, seven months ago, our ability to be present with kids grinded to a halt. When the world shut down back in March, our total model for ministry was overhauled. We didn't know what to do, and so we began in the place that Young Life in Chesapeake began at over 19 years ago, which was prayer. We began traveling around as leaders and staff to schools, socially distant and praying in cars spread around a parking lot on group FaceTime calls of every high school and middle school in this city. We prayed for the leaders and kids and administration to be able to find a way to tell them about Jesus. This ministry of prayer slowly turned into Zoom calls, to FaceTimes, to virtual Bible studies, to trivia nights, to uh, video game parties, to watching movies together, to playing strange video games as groups all together online, to any way that we could figure out how to be virtually present with kids. We delivered some gift cards and donuts and dropped off coffee. We celebrated when people graduated. We did everything we could to stay in touch in the lives of kids. Slowly over the course of the summer, when we realized we could safely begin meeting in person again, we began to carefully and following all sorts of protocols, get people together in person. The first time I was together with kids from Great Bridge High School in my backyard spread out in chairs, it was clunky, it was awkward, but we did it. And we opened the Bible together and we looked at the person of Jesus and we began to talk about life and hard things. Over the course of this year, we've been meeting outdoors in parking lots, in backyards, in uh, CrossFit gyms, and any place that we can meet to be safe, but be together. We've been wearing masks and we've been spread out. We've been watching Monday Night Football in backyards on a 20 foot inflatable screen. We've been having movie nights and we've been doing anything that we can do to be together. I meet weekly with a group of high school students from Great Bridge who have a weird gap in their schedule because of virtual school. We sit distantly around a fire pit and we talk about the Bible, about their lives, about college applications, about girls, about anything that we need to talk about but we're doing it in person together and we're able to look each other in the eyes and I'm able to tell them about a God who loves them and cares deeply for them. Ultimately, we're doing everything possible and running through every wall that's been erected to tell kids about the good news of Jesus Christ. Tonight, we wish to be together. We wish to continue uh, with a really fun party and an auction and all of the things that we did last year, but we can't and we long for the day that we can again. But tonight we get to celebrate how the Lord has moved over the past 19 years and particularly over the past seven months. Tonight you get to hear from a group of heroes of mine, a group of heroes who have followed the call that Jesus has put on their lives to show up in the lives of students in this city. 
You get to hear from a diverse group of people of age ranges and professions, but you get to hear about people who care about kids in this city. And I hope you'll take the time to listen to their stories and how you can be involved in our story in Young Life in Chesapeake. My name's JB Anderson, and in high school, my Young Life leader was my soccer coach. His name was Andy Fetzer, and even though I was a knucklehead, he showed up and he cared about me. And later on in my life, that care that he showed changed it. I realized that Jesus cared about me, that he wanted a relationship with me, and that it was gonna impact the rest of my life. I decided to apply to go on Young Life staff. I ended up getting hired here in Chesapeake, and for the last seven years, I've been at Oscar Smith High School introducing kids to Jesus. I wouldn't have it any other way. I love this city. It's become home to me. My role in Chesapeake is to lead at Oscar Smith High School. I've been there for seven years now, and I also oversee Deep Creek and Indian River, along with our wildlife ministries, which is our ministry to middle schoolers. In my time at Oscar Smith High School, I've met many guys. I've had a blast from Josh Sweat, who went to play at Florida State, who's now on the Eagles. I'm a Giants fan, and he sacked my quarterback two weeks ago, a kid that I got to lead in high school. Now fast forward a little bit, I just met a guy named Squirm a couple years ago. That's right, his name is Squirm. It's a nickname that he got as a baby because he was always squirming around, and it stuck with him. Squirm has the best heart. Squirm's been coming to Young Life Club, to campaigners, and he's trying to get his life together. One of the things that impacts Squirm the most is the neighborhood that he's in. And so in order to contend with that, he decided to move out of that neighborhood and back in with mom so he could be in a uh, easier place to thrive. Part of that thriving has been continuing to come to Young Life Student Leadership and to the clubs that we can have. Squirm's playing football right now. He's a junior and he's eyeing his senior year. And he's trying to figure out who he wants to be and what he wants to become. And I think that's the ultimate role of a Young Life leader, to be there beside him when he's deciding who he wants to be, what he wants to become, and if Jesus has anything to do it, do with it, like my Young Life leader, Fetz, did for me. See, in Chesapeake, we're committed to the very end that there's going to be no demographic of kid, high or low, that will go unreached or unnoticed. My name is Rich Hartney. I'm really excited to be part of Young Life here in Chesapeake. I've been involved with Young Life since I was in high school. Um, my leader was Davey Parsons back then. Uh, tons of fun to hang out with. Always had time for me. And, uh, and I guess I didn't really get too serious about the Lord until after that. But, uh, but he was a very important part of, uh, of bringing me to that point. And, uh, and then, really, I've been just attracted to Young Life and the folks who uh, are involved in Young Life ever since then. Um, got involved after college, helped start a club in Alabama, um, and then uh, my wife Jen and I have been involved in, uh, in Alabama, Colorado, New York, Texas, a couple different places in Texas. Um, and really, it, our best friends are in Young Life. Um, we've seen how great an impact it has in people's lives. Um, and we are super excited about uh, being involved here in Chesapeake. Um, I'm the committee chair now. I'm not quite sure how that happened, but that's me. Um, and, uh, and I love working with the folks here. Um, our leaders are uh, just top notch. Super excited to share Jesus with uh, students. So Jen and I have been invol involved with Young Life in a lot of, of different capacities with both been leaders at club. Um, Jen was an interim area director for a while. Uh, we've been mentors to leaders. And now we have uh, five kids of our own and our kids are starting to get involved with wildlife. We have two middle schoolers and wildlife is just the highlight of their week. Uh, they're super excited about it. They're excited to tell their friends about it and bring their friends within the club. They really look up to their leaders. Um, Silas is, is like great hero. And, uh, and it's just so much fun to see our kids starting to get involved uh, and to see leaders just uh, sharing their lives and sharing Jesus with our kids. Um, it's really an amazing ministry and, uh, and we're, we're super excited to be a part of it.
I'm Haley Davis. I am a high school counselor at Grassfield High School here in Chesapeake. Been a counselor for going on four years now. I actually got involved um, in college. I went and volunteered and did summer staff at Windy Gap, which is one of the camps in North Carolina, and just fell in love with it. You know, just walked away and knew it was what I wanted to spend my college time doing. So, loved Young Life so much that I did like six sessions of summer staff and Six might be a lot, but it was something like four. Did summer internships, so I just, I really loved the mission. I especially loved camping. I had come across so many young people in while I was in college that just didn't feel like they had someone that was older, adults that really knew what was going on, that really cared about what, not just what they were doing, but who they were as people and, and what their relationship with the Lord looked like. And so that was just something I really wanted to continue spending my time doing. Um, so I, I moved here, continued to lead, and then decided to go to grad school for school counseling. Um, so led while I was doing that for, for a little bit and then was super blessed and crazy story, but ended up getting a job at Grassfield High School as a counselor. And I actually lead at Grassfield now where I am a counselor. Um, it is really awesome because basically my job as a counselor is pretty much like being a Young Life leader, just like I get paid for it, which is really cool. Um, I mean, I get to do contact work in the building. I mean, students are coming to my office and we're getting to have conversations about Christ in the schools, which for me is just, is such a huge blessing and such a huge privilege to know that these students feel like they have someone in the school building, a place where typically, you know, Jesus is kept on the back burner. Um, but a place where kids can come and, and we pray and we talk about things that are hard and, and that's just that's such a privilege and it's really cool. I, I love the opportunity to do that. But it's also a great way for me to meet students that don't go to Young Life. You know, there are plenty, most of my students are not involved actually. And so it's really neat to, to get to make that initial contact with them as a counselor um, and get to know them as those students. And then if the opportunity presents itself, you know, and invite them into Young Life, into that community. Um, and so it's, just, it's really cool, I mean, to share my life with, with these students and hopefully to have them see little glimpses of the Lord in that. Um, the Lord is, is in that and He's in those messy moments and it doesn't have to be perfect and you don't have to be there every time and, and you don't have to, you just, you don't have to be perfect and the Lord works in that which is really neat. Uh, hi, I'm Drew Miles. I teach 8th grade history at Hugo Owens Middle School and I also lead Wildlife with Hugo Owens. Um, kind of my affiliation with Young Life, Wildlife, that whole ordeal, um, is a leader stepped into my high school when I was a sophomore. Um, I didn't understand why he was there. In fact, I kind of made fun of him for being there and hanging out with high school kids. Um, and I never really understood why someone older than me would really take that much time to get to know me. Uh, and so over the years, we uh, connected more and more. And around the end of my junior year, I really started understanding this whole Jesus character and what that meant to me. I had grown up around Jesus. I grew up in a very Bible Belt area. Um, my parents very affiliated with the church, but that never really made sense to why it should affect the way I live. Um, and through my leader in high school and through Young Life, I got a better glimpse of what that life could look like. Um, that led me to go to college where I led for three years at a high school. Uh, that was an incredible experience where I got to see a lot of kids' lives transformed. Uh, and that's something that I wanted to continue to experience. And so after college, um, I got a teaching degree uh, and I moved to Chesapeake and accepted a job at Hugo Owens Middle. And it seemed like it just went hand in hand where I could not only teach my students in the classroom, but could also help them outside of the classroom get to know this Jesus character a little better. Um, and it's been very life-giving ever since. And I'm very lucky to be to have found a home here in Chesapeake. Hi, my name is Katie Torek and I am on staff um, here in Chesapeake with Young Life. I moved here in 2010 and I was hired to work at Hickory High School for Young Life. Um, and I had some of the best times there leading high school girls and sharing the gospel with them. I have so many fun memories with different um, kids over the years that I was there, but there's one girl that stuck out in particularly. Um, 
Her name is Alex, and I met her one afternoon at a soccer game. She was hanging out with a couple girls that I knew, and I remember chatting with her and thinking, who is this 16 year old girl that is so great at conversation with a, I think I was 22, with a 22 year old. It was so fun getting to know Alex and um, I loved getting to spend time with her and getting to know her over her years at Hickory. I missed uh, spending time with her um, and then I didn't really see her for a little while. And then one day I was leading a Bible study and she showed up, she just came, and it had been years, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, Alex, here you are, I can't believe this. And we got to kind of rekindle our friendship, which was so awesome, and I'm so thankful to know her. Um, over my time in Chesapeake, I've had a few different roles, and now I actually work with pregnant teen moms at Oscar Smith High School, so I work with our ministry called Young Lives. And I love getting to minister to these girls. Um, they're so special um, for so many reasons. They are incredibly strong and incredible moms, and I love getting the opportunity to spend time with them. In this season, um, in March, we had our last club for a little while. I didn't realize that little while would turn into months, and um, I would have to do Zoom calls with girls and babies and have to do drive-by diaper drop-offs. <laughs> and all different types of ways to get to see these girls that I had developed relationships with. Um, over the past month, few months, we've been able to spend time together outside wearing masks, and I haven't been able to cuddle any babies for a little while, but that's okay, because I wanna know that these girls are gonna be safe. Um, I feel so honored to be able to lead young lives in this area and get to know these moms. Um, one of my favorite things about leading at Oscar Smith High School is my friend Alex that I talked about a little bit ago. She also leads there, just in a different capacity, but we are side by side doing ministry together. Hi, I'm Alexandra, and my Young Life leader was Katie. I met her when I was 16 years old at Hickory High School at a soccer game, and she was talking to a friend of mine about Young Life. And I'd heard about it before from a bunch of people, but I didn't know exactly what it was and she invited me to a club um, in a couple of nights. And I went, and it was the first time I'd ever heard Jesus talked about in a way where he's not just our father, but our friend. And it was very impactful for me, but I didn't realize that it would make an impact still on my life 10, almost 11 years later. So two years ago, I was starting nursing school and it was a very stressful time. And that was when I got reintroduced to the Young Life community. And it couldn't have come at a more perfect timing of my life. I was now surrounded by all these people who loved Jesus and just had a huge impact on me while I was in school. And I was then asked to come to a pancake social at Oscar Smith and now a little bit, like a year and a half later, I am finished with nursing school, a nurse at a children's hospital, and leading at Oscar Smith at the same high school where my Young Life leader also leads, um, which is just so incredible. Hi, my name is Ayani Jacobs. I'm a junior at Oscar Smith High School, and I joined Young Life two years ago. Um, my first event that I went with Young Life was summer, of 2019, I went to Young Life Camp, and the first night there, they surprised us, surprised us with the um, obstacle course, and it really showed me the links you have to go to, with a team. Like, it was very... <sighs> um, one particular day was my one-on-one with Ashanti. Um, I told her a big part of my story, and she really supported me. Everybody there supported me, really, and I really thank them for that. On the last day of Young Life, I turned my chair around to Jesus and I just told him, like, I'm here, like, whatever he needs me to do. After camp, Alex really played a big part in encouraging me to make good grades. Like, I really love her. Um, she's always there. If I call her at 12 o'clock in the morning, she'll probably answer for me. And when I graduate high school, I would really love to become a Young Life leader. I hope tonight you've had the great opportunity to hear our story of Young Life in Chesapeake. I hope the stories of leaders and students coming in contact with Jesus and having their lives changed has moved or stirred you. 
For us to keep going in Young Life in Chesapeake, we need to raise some money tonight. Hopefully you've gotten a chance to see our auction catalog. Hopefully you're following along and you see where our golf at Kinlock is at right now. That auction will close down around nine o'clock tonight. But you also have the opportunity to give and give generously to Young Life in Chesapeake. Our hope tonight is through the auction, through money that's been committed beforehand, and through gifts that you will make right now that we could raise $30,000 to keep this ministry going. Last year, despite the pandemic, we raised more money in Chesapeake because of people like yours' generosity. We need to do it again this year because we're not gonna stop. We're not gonna stop telling kids about Jesus regardless of what the world looks like. We're not gonna stop showing up in their lives wherever they are. And so tonight, I wanna ask you, will you partner with us as we seek to tell kids in the city about Jesus? Maybe you're a monthly donor, would you consider making a one-time gift tonight? Maybe you've just been invited to a party or you just clicked a leak from an email that I sent out. We'd like to invite you to give. Giving is easy. You can text VA88 to 55678. One more time, that's VA88 to 55678 and you'll be taken to a link where you can click and you can make a gift online right now. You can also go to giving.younglife.org backslash Chesapeake and you'll get all of the instructions of how you can give. If you'd like more information, you can call our office or send me an email, and we'd love to give you information on how you can give. But would you consider making a gift tonight of $100, of $200, of $500, or $1,000? Maybe you didn't win the auction item that you really had your eyes set on. Would you consider giving that money to us instead? All money raised tonight goes to support our work as we seek to raise our budget this year for two consecutive years and keep our ministry going in the city of Chesapeake. I hope you've had fun watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the auction. I hope you've had fun at whatever party you attended. But would you consider partnering with us financially tonight? I pray that you will.